Hey, hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Mattis SMP. I am Big Mattis, and I am truly appreciative of you guys coming and checking out my video. I don't often, or I don't say that often enough, how much it means to me that you guys keep coming back and checking me out. It means the world to me. I really love doing this, and I thought I'd take a moment at the beginning of this video just to get a little sappy and tell you how much I appreciate you all. You are the best. But now that I'm done with that sappiness, let's get down to business. We are over here at the base, and uh, as I said in the last episode, we're going to put a little uh, tower right here. It's going to stick up a little ways, high enough to where I think I'll move the ice tray up against it, and a little like a balcony, but it'll be our ice tray. Then it's going to be an up and down passage all the way down to what Kix has been doing down there, which he's been getting some stuff done. But uh, before we go, I'll uh, do anything else. I want to show you a couple things. Oops. I want to show you a couple things around here, a couple things elsewhere. But uh, just so you see that I, you know, I got the roof finished and I've been working on the uh, the area where the archers will stand up there in the balcony. I got lots of work to do. I expanded this back, but you'll see I've been busy with a bunch of different projects. Meow. Yeah, you die. You die. But you, you can run up here. There's a staircase on both sides. Now I'm going to put a door in here, but this is where you would stand to shoot. And I've got to add a ladder onto that side, get you up to this balcony. Where you can stand out here at the window. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, anyway. And I still gotta get an entrance. I don't know if I'm gonna do it here. Or if I'm gonna do something on here. I know realistically, the gate should be the gate. But this is Minecraft. You can only do so much. I'm thinking about doing some kind of piston door in here. Who knows? We'll see. It has The inspiration has not hit me yet. But we will get to it. I promise. But... We have, uh, Skills has put in a new, uh, storehouse over here. That's where all the iron and chicken is at the moment, and anything else we're going to end up storing. We're going to run down here, and show you what Kix has been doing, just for Kix, my boy. Come on, let's, let's hop, 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 down, down. Put this entrance on and has been working on the ceiling, which I really am digging the ceiling. It looks great. Getting our tunnel worked out. Like I said, we got a storehouse over there. A uh, bunch of stuff going on at these guys' bases. The arena's looking beautiful. We got to stop over there sometime and check out the, the arena. Uh, we were at Jalp's base yesterday doing some, getting on one of his recordings. And his base is looking amazing. This is, this is just, oh, I'm so happy. But I blocked this off because I brought a guy over to show you something that Kix did. Well, this is Skills Skills and Man's built this portal room, which is amazing. It is beautiful. I really like it. But as you guys know, the portal used to be up, like right here. And we would bring our villagers through and we'd drop them down the steps, take them over our tunnel, and row them on into our house. Well, you can't row boats up steps. Kix brought a villager through, wanted to take it home, came into here and went, Oh my god, what do I do? And then it became a, a huge fiasco. So, we got this guy. He's just sitting here, relaxing. Yeah, how you doing? How you doing? You ready to go on a voyage? Yeah? Yeah? You wanna, you wanna do it? Yeah? Yeah? I thought you'd say yeah. Look at that beautiful lamp right here. Watch this. <laughs> I missed. Yunk. Bye-bye. Now that is a glitch. He's not here. See, I can't click on him. But, yeah, put my armor back on. Watch this. Look at that. That goes all the way to our base. Let me uh, ruin this floor a little here. Blink. Show you what we got going on. And see, we even keep the items, which is my idea. Yeah. Watch this. Look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. We, we talked about doing this, and then I came back, and uh, it was just done. And it's great. It works beautiful. Well, now let's go down here and check it out. Hopefully this uh, guy hasn't gotten too far away from us. Whoa! Lag spike. Run, run, run down the river. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, no, it's wait. <laughs> okay, there he is. I see him. 
Wait for... Or is he actually there? Glitchy, glitchy, glitchy. He's in the boat, I guarantee it. If we can catch up to the boat and we jump in, we will probably see him riding behind us. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, see? Yeah, you stay in that boat where you belong. And then, oh, 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 oh. Ba -do -ka -do. Ouch. You'll see that. Oh, oh, oh. It's pure coincidence that this is the guy I brought over because what I should be doing is taking him over to the next area we're going to take a look at. Show you what I've been working on my little secret project. But real quick, I'm going to show you where this guy belongs. Give me one second, we'll hop over there. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this area all finished up, and I put that in air quotes. Because, you know, we, we leave, we've left room for expansion. But it is uh, essentially finished, and we probably uh, won't do much with the ceiling because right up above there is a little lava lake. But I keep thinking about it. But see, we're naming these guys. Did you know that when you name them, it changes it right here? I thought that was pretty neat. Anyway... We've got all kinds of wonderful villagers going in here. All kinds of wonderful books to buy. We're starting to get ourselves some uh, armor smiths, tool smiths. Even uh, a cleric over here just because. He's got the lowest uh, meat trades. Yep, yep, I can't click on him. Ah, there he is. 36. So I just wanted to show you the progress that's being made in here and all the villagers that we brought in. And uh, now we're going to go check out my secret project. And I say it's secret because it's just something I'm working on, but I really just, it's my private area, and, and you'll understand when I get over there. It's just, it's its my mindless digging project, but I've got lots of goals over there, so let's go over there and take a look. All right, here we are over and heading down to our secret project, and before I show you guys what's going on here, I want to preface this by a few statements. Uh, we'll go down and we'll start at the wall. Um... Everybody on this project seems to have a big digging thing that they're doing. You got Jalp start, well no, Jalp and uh, Cage Lyricist started about the same time. They were both digging a big old hole. Uh, then Skills dug a huge hole. Then Man's dug a huge hole. Seems like everybody's just digging a big hole. Even Kix dug the huge basement under our house. Well, I really like to dig in this game. You know, I work hard for a living, so sometimes it's nice to just come home. Put a pick in your hand and just dig. It, it's mind clearing. It's almost meditative. I really enjoy it. And I love to see what I can get out of it. Now at the same time, you can hear behind me. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Da, 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 da. Now this is a digging project, baby. We have just started. We got lots and lots of work to do here. But what I had in mind was a, a uh, strip mining project. This is a legitimate strip mine. And we're clearing everything out. And what I wanted, one of my main goals, was slimes. I needed a slime farm, so I figured if I strip mine, I'll find at least one slime junk, and uh, we'll be in business. Now, I believe that I have one, two, three, and maybe four slime chunks in here. So what I have to do is I have to pull up the old brand new uh, chunk border thing and have to put out some fences on these borders and then start narrowing down where the... The slimes are spawning and marking them out specifically. But this the other goal I've had is I've been wanting to do a a super legit uh, mob farm. I wanted it to be the maximum spawning radius uh, or rates, so I figured I would clear out an area of 100, you know, 150 blocks in every direction from the sides of the farm. So if you stood in the spawning platform, there possibly couldn't be anything to uh, anything to spawn, period, other than your farm. So I've decided to do my digging project under the ocean. So that is the ocean floor, which I am replacing with glass. All right, so we got to dig all this up. Now this is just a little bit, it's about 50, I think, from the edges of the pyramid. So it's a little bit more than 50 blocks on each side from the beacon. So we need, uh, you know, it makes this thing... Needs to go way bigger. If, if this was our, our uh, ooh, don't break it. If this is our mob farm, it would need to be 150 blocks in that direction, that direction, and that direction. 
from where we are standing. And that's 50. So we got a work cut out for us, but at least we're going to clear out this 50. Clear it all the way up, and then maybe we'll start putting in a, a mob farm so that it'll start working while we're working. Now we've also got a couple other exciting finds here. We've got a zombie farm that we found up there. Well, that I found up there when I started digging this out. But that wasn't the coolest thing. I thought this was amazing. There's a reason this corner is not dug out because I wanted to show you what I found before I got to it. While I'm here, I might as well show you this. Uh, huh, lava. You see how you can see lava there and lava here. Lava back over there. Let me tell you what. If you put a line down this room, this side was pretty okay. That side? Oh, it was not okay. And, you know, this is what happens. This is what happens. I've got lava lakes in these chests. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But, what we're going to build here in a minute before we go back and work over on our tower projects. We're going to work on a bit of a uh, automatic um, furnace array. Just, just, you know, maybe two furnaces. For now. But let me show you this. Look at this. Look at all that obsidian. Nothing else in here important. Just the obsidian. Not, nothing good. Just, just obsidian. And... Uh, we've got a lot of coal. We don't really need this. We need this now because we haven't built a witch farm yet, but if nobody else is going to do it, we'll do it soon. But look at this. Is this not amazing? Amazing! You guys have never seen a cave spider spawner before! Alright, I know. It's nothing special. But I was excited. I was. You know, cave spiders are very, very difficult to work with. But... When I found that bad boy, I started to get excited. It's like, yeah, look, that's in range, and that's in range. So, we got a double cave spider spawner, so I thought that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. And then, and then, and then, I found that bad boy. So, look at this. In range, in range, in range. I have never seen three cave spider spawners in the same area, let alone within range of each other. And, uh, yeah, we have it. We have a triple spawner, guys. And we have just regular uh, spawning. We have regular rules on our server. We didn't change anything. This just happened naturally. And uh, I am so excited. So we probably soon have to work this in. And, you know, the XP will be nice. It won't, probably won't be gold farm nice, but it'll be nice. But mainly we can get a ton of strain. We can bring over some fishermen, bring over some uh, Fletchers or whatever they're called these days. And we can sell string for days and tell you the truth i haven't cleared this out too well so who knows there might be another one uh that was that was funny i, I was like no way it's like there might be a fourth cave spider spawner right over here who knows i know it sounds like it it sounds like it oh well i doubt there's another one in range but now that i've showed that off i will oh, i'm lost already uh, this one yes yes now that I've shown that off, I will clear out the rest of this corner off camera. None of this on camera. This is all my my zen time. But I can clear out this corner over here. And then maybe I'll clear out enough to be able to see all three spawners. And then figure out what we're going to do. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and make some hoppers and some stuff. And we're going to just throw in a quick uh, array. Because basically I want to start using all that lava to cook glass. Because we're going to need a lot of glass. Every block of this is going to be glass over our heads so all right give me a minute all right we have made some hoppers so we're going to steal two of these ah, ah, ah. we're going to steal two of these real quick dink, dink. and then we're going to set up a little thingy majiggy right here so we're going to need a i believe this is oh, it's been a while since i made one of these i'm not even going to think about it i'm just going to do it this is going to be right here. That should be the fuel. Which means the furnaces have to be here. Doo -doo -doo. Put this down. That should be the fuel source. Let's double check that. Come on. Yep, fuel going in. Then we need... Oi, oi, oi. I don't want to cook that. Alright, good. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, 
so then we're gonna have our material chest we're gonna put some sand in there and with a lava bucket there we go and then our finished product glassy glass and of course chess look at that there it is that simple we are in business and uh that's it for now i'm gonna keep working here and i'll keep giving you guys some updates over the next few episodes because this is gonna take a while and like i said we might we might pop an episode in where we come over here and work in a uh maybe a slime farm maybe a triple spider spawner Maybe we start the mob farm. We got we got so much to do here. This is one of the projects I've been wanting to do for a long time, a long time, and I am excited. This is going to be I'm going to call this mob mecca. It's going to be everything. We even have a, a zombie farm, triple spider, or zombie spawner, triple spider farm, mob farm. Who knows? By the time we're done clearing this out, we might even find a water temple or an ocean monument or whatever you want to call it. But for now, today we're going to work at the base and get that tower in. So I'm going to gather up some materials. Do some thinking about exactly where I want to start that thing, and we will meet you back over there. For now, I'm going to watch the sand melt. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're back over here at our mountaintop base where our castle is creeping out of the hillside. And I have marked off a little section to show you guys what I have in mind. And I think we can go up there and take a little peeky-poo. Let's go up, 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 up. First, I'll show you what I did here. This is the concept. Big old hole, you know me and holes. That's what this episode's all about, holes. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so what I want is a tower coming out of the hillside. As you can see, it'd be popping out on both sides, and it's I'm not going to cut this hillside back on the outside, but on the inside, I want a hole this big going all the way down to our basement area and what we're gonna have hopefully this works out I think the math should work out right but I want a spiral staircase going around the inside all the way top to bottom for manual transportation and then we're going to have like I said before a drop shaft going straight down and a minecart elevator coming up and we're gonna stop it on different levels like one will stop and there'll be a little walk path to go over into here which of course I've got it all closed up now so you can't see in yeah there we go down into here whoop 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 okay cut the fence out down into this area or back further because you know this is the castle gate entrance so maybe we'll go back a little bit not 100% sure like I said we're keeping it organic whatever strikes my fancy when I'm looking at it I just sit there and look at it and go mm, yeah I think that would be nice get rid of that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dig this shape all the way down to the basement on the I'm gonna dig out this whole perimeter that way we can put some finish blocks in there and then we'll come up Ooh, snowballs we will come up and uh, figure out what blocks we're gonna use to make it look good and how high we want to go I was thinking I mean we don't need to go much higher than that but I would like it if it did because one of the goals is like a Said, I don't know if I said it earlier, I said it in the last video, but I want to take that ice tray and make a permanent mount, or like a balcony coming off the side of this thing, so that we can just hop a minecart elevator up to the top, get some ice, and uh, zoom on back down. So, and I just had a brilliant idea, I think. You know, it'll be a drop shaft between the floors, and then it'll switch. You know, minecart elevator on one side, drop shaft on the other. Then it'll switch. That way it's minecarts on this side on the next section and drop shaft on this side. So forth and so on. Enough said. Let's dig a hole. I know, I know. Another hole in the Mantis Craft server. Go figure, right? So I'm just digging away, digging away. I'm like, man, I got to be getting close to the bottom here, right? Right? So I went to check my Y coordinate. I said, I got to be at, you know, mid 40s, mid 30s, somewhere in there. Got to, got to be. Got to be. Let's, let's check it out. 72! Ah, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> uh, holy oh no, no cousin there's a hole there's a hole she's dug all the way down and as you can see down there i've been messing around with some design ideas <laughs> all right all right all right stop the video stop the video all right i said stop the video i 
have once again run over my time and I was doing some editing and I've got a little, <laughs> I've got oh 15 more minutes of footage on building this tower before I even finished it I've done a lot of work since then I need another take on there and it is just way too much it is over here in the corner behind us but we are not gonna look at it you are gonna have to wait till the next episode I just did a little too much running around and jibber jabbering. Too much jibber jabbering. Just like usual. And I gotta take that off. I don't like it. And. Oh well. You guys are gonna have to get over it. You're gonna have to wait to be continued. So, thanks for coming and checking me out. And we will see you in the next video. Goodbye!